Hey, we are almost there. It is Wednesday and we have three more days of term work before we uh, race to the finish through our summatives. So today we're finishing off unit two. Um, you should have already gotten the unit two badge if you have been keeping up with the um, course timelines. Um, you would have gotten the badge yesterday when you put your synthesis in the Dropbox. Um, you, it, would, it would still come even though you haven't put the reflection in. Um, so today you are putting the reflection in based off of my feedback. Now my feedback might take some time. So I would say put this podcast um, later on in your day, like one of the last things that you do is this podcast reflection. So moving on, we're working on our last summative blog post. You should have finished your independent novel by now. If you haven't, I guess you're going to have to power through it um, in the last couple of days and just write the blog post on what you know. Um, and this is very important. There is still more to do. So once you do your blog post, if you're waiting on your reflection, you still need to go to the unit four checklist because there's a couple more things you need to do. Namely, you have to read the activity one and two content and you need to do this um, graphic organizer in a discussion. So there are really three tasks you need to do today, the blog, the reflection, and the graphic organizer. And then you also have to read the content. So um, guess about an hour for each of these tasks with potentially longer than an hour for your blog if, if you want to do a really good job. So let's go to the blog first. So in the first blog post you did read a response or archetypal literary theory. In the second blog you're doing the same thing but you're doing feminist or post-colonial literary theory. So I would really suggest you go to the resources page in unit zero. Um, I'll remind you tomorrow in a page or I'll remind you today in a page um, where that link is. And I would read the article that I posted on feminism and the ar article that I posted on post-colonialism to help you out, if depending on which one you're going to do. You wanna do a really good job on this blog um, because it's going to replace your blog one mark if you improve on it. Um, if not, if you don't improve on it, you're still potentially using one of these blogs for your final summative essay. So do a good job. They're same deal as last time. There are some questions to help you out, but use the article as well to help you with that blog post. Also, look at the checklist that I gave you, the look for's in your last blog. So go to the blog Dropbox feedback that I gave you on your first blog and make sure that you're doing all the things that I'm asking you to do in order to get a level four on this task. All right, so let's pretend we finished our blog. Let's pretend I've already given you feedback on the synthesis and you've done your reflection and posted that to the Dropbox. You're ready to really get started into um, unit four. Unit four is short but sweet. You're gonna read the content for activity one. There's quite a lot of it. Um, this is where we're reading about Hamlet. So this is gonna have to do with our task tomorrow as well. So take good notes. So here we go. We're reading, we're reading, we're reading. This is a scene from Hamlet. You're gonna watch the different um, scenes from Hamlet. You're going to read this and you're going to um, move on. All right. If you are curious about what the assignment is for the Hamlet discussion, you can take a peek for it here. But remember, it's not until tomorrow. So as you're reading, it might be really smart to take notes on the stuff that you're reading for Hamlet. It will help you with your work tomorrow, but um, it isn't for today. So next you're going to read the activity two content. There's a lot less of it this time, you can see. Here we go, We're reading a poem, right. reading another poem. There's a couple of um, videos here. And then when you go to the assignment page, it's got the graphic organizer that I want you to fill out today. So that's the last task for today. So you're filling in the graphic organizer, you're putting it in the Dropbox and you're replying to two peers. So you can do it. A reflection, a blog post, and a graphic organizer with some content reading in between. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, I will be around all day.